Hello YouTube, this is Breeze Meadow, my very first mod review, and today we are doing a very common, very, very fun mod, um, called More Explosives. I'm sure you've heard of it before. Um, I've got several testing grounds set up, where I can show you these nuclear testing grounds in this, uh, endless Minecraft desert. So, um, first off, go ahead and put on your, um, radiation suit, um, boots, leggings, helmets, and chest plates that our iron will also work. And um, make sure you have some flint and steel. So, oh, music. Okay. Uh, we are going to start off with uh, just the extra TNT that was added. So, um, I've got a whole row of new TNT types of TNT that was added. Let's just take some of the basic TNT and test it out. All right. Here's the TNT testing grounds. Okay. Now we're gonna try out this lava bomb right here. We're gonna see what it does. Let's put it on top of this cactus, what do you say? Make a little flaming cactus. All right, and uh, let's see what happens if you set this off. Let's take a step back. Okay, and there is now a flaming cactus in there, and let's run, run, now, now. Wow, instant tons and tons of TNT, um, I mean lava. That is a very useful bomb if you're trying to create some cool sculptures. As you can see, it is just overflowing. Um, next off, let's just do the basic C4. I believe C4s are pretty much like regular TNT, except they are much bigger explosions. Step away. Okay. Look at the size of that thing. That's like two times as like 15 times as big as TNT. Let's go farther over here and let's try out this bundled C4. Now this is a bunch of different CM4. Now when it explodes, it'll turn into nine different C4s, which will all separate and make an explosion the same size as a regular C4. As you can see, that is a much big, uh, that's much bigger compared to this explosion over here. Uh, next up, we're gonna try out this time bomb. Time bomb, I believe, is around the same size as a C4 explosion. Uh, the only difference, of course, is that you can program how much time you, uh, how long you want it to be. So we can set it. Time bomb. Let's set it for 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and we're dead. See, if we had not been in survival, we or uh, creative, we would have been dead right there. Okay. Uh, so moving on back, I've got a test ground set up for this tunneling explosive. Tunneling explosives are very different because they do not create TNT-like explosions. Instead, um, oh well that's a problem. Uh, well we're just going to stick it right here and we're going to set it off and you'll see how it will work. Oh wow, straight shot forward. Um, what's cool about them is I think you can now, uh, is you can place them in different uh, different ways. I'm not quite sure if you can do this, but um, I think you can place them different ways. Yeah, you can place them different ways, and I believe that they will tunnel that way as well. Oh wow, yeah, you can. So um, that's useful if you want to get back up to the surface, or if you want to create a straight tunnel down, or if you want to do strip mining. Um, it'd be a much more efficient way of doing that. Uh, okay. So let's put these all back. Um, now we're going to talk about uh, landmines and anti-personal mines. Uh, let's start off with the landmine. Landmines work pretty much how you think they'd be. They're uh, basically glorified pressure plate hooked up to TNT. Okay, and we would have been dead right there. Anti-personal landmines. Oh, crud. Could wipe out like if a creeper come if a zombie comes and he brings a bunch of his cronies with him he would be no more after that so that's pretty useful too all right next up we've got kind of a different one this is a, a really cool one um and this is called a blasting cap I'm running out of testing room uh what you do is you set it down and you right click it and you have to enter in a number so say let's enter in 10 
because that's how many subscribers I have. Yes. Okay, and then you get this blasting cap detonator. You right click and you set up and you put in the number for that one blasting cap and click detonate. Boom. Uh, what's cool about this is you can set s uh, several different uh, blasting caps on different frequencies and then they will go off only if you tell that one to go off. So if we put one in, only one explodes. Now if we put in two, two explodes. So that's also very useful uh, for blowing up specific areas um, or if you need to blow up a sequence of areas or something like that, that's very handy. Next up, we uh, have Fuse and Debt Cord. So let's see, I'm going to need, uh, let's, let's try this out with the C4s. Okay, so, uh, starting off, oh, I just threw my Debt Cord. Uh, fuses work much in the way that it sounds like they work. Simply put them down, and you light them on fire. And it burns on down, and sets it off. Let's get out of here. Kablam. All right, and uh, deck cords, um, I think work pretty much the same as fuses, except they explode right away, uh, along with all the cords um, along with it. So if you want an immediate explosion, set that off. And yeah. Um, so anyway, I think that's it. Fuses, uh, now with so much redstone and uh, different ways to use that, I don't think there's as big of a need for fuses as there was in the past, but they are still pretty cool and you have more of a delay if you want more of a delay. Uh, that's it for the TNT, let's move on to uh, projectile. projectiles. This is a really big category, as you can see. Let's start off with the smoke grenades. Smoke grenades work pretty much as you think they work. Um, you fire one, and they take a second or two to slide away, and then they go up in yellow smoke. So if you need to get, um, so I mean, I mean, it looks really cool. First off, okay, that's evading test grounds. Um, they look really cool. Uh, kind of like fireworks, but now that they have fireworks, they really have no need. Uh, same with uh, the red, white, and blue. And the green. Ooh, red, white, and blue. Ha. America, America. Throw a green in there. Or, you know, you could do um, Mexico. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Mexico is... Well, I do not... I, do not, I forgot what the Mexican flag. But anyway, it looks really cool. And then there's also black. <coughs> Boom. Okay. Uh, that's it for the smoke grenades. Those are really cool, just kind of party thing. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, let's see, flares. Flares are kind of an interesting one. Um, they're really different. Look, it just fires that ball. The ball looks completely misplaced in Minecraft, first off. Um, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of glowy disco ball thing launch them into fire up there so that's pretty cool pretty simple next up we've got the uh, Molotov cocktail I have no idea how to pronounce that <coughs> did I misspell that? <coughs> I don't think they spelled it right and um, the water bomb so we shoot that oh no it's so much fire uh, and then oh well here come the fire fighters as you can see it's pretty much a bomb, except instead of giving off bomb, it gives off water. Uh, which is good if you need to speedily put out a fire. And last off, we have just a bomb. Which works kind of like TNT, except you can throw it. And it's kind of fun. Okay. Uh, I believe that's it for projectiles. Now, I'm actually not sure about this or not. I just had a sudden thought. But you might be able to launch them out of a dispenser. Oh, okay. Let's try it. Uh, let's launch a red smoke grenade. Let's see if they'll launch out of dispensers. I'm not sure if they will. I bet they will. I mean, it'd be awesome if they would. Uh, let's fill this. Oh, no. Okay. You cannot launch them out of dispensers. It will only 
give it out. Mod developers have apparently not done that yet. So, but they're awesome and they're fun to throw around. So, and plus you've got your anti personnel if you want to set up a push blade or something. All right. Next up, we have our missiles. Ha ha! And these are the most. These are. These are the most fun, I think, to play around with. Um, missiles are pretty basic. Uh, what you're going to need to do, though, is you're going to need to set out a target before you launch them. So um, you need to do your F3. And let's take note of our X, Y, and Z location. So our X is negative 331. Let me write this down. I have terrible memory. Our Y is 66.9. Uh, and our Z is negative one zero four one. Okay, so I'm sorry, little cactus, but this little cactus is about to be pummeled by our missile testing. So first off, you just got your general missile. Oh, it looks nice, doesn't it? Nice sleek black missile. Okay, our our X is negative thirty three point one. No. Negative 331. 331. And our Z coordinate is negative 1041. Okay. Missile missile target. Out, what are you talking about? Did I put that in right? Okay. These missiles do have a li limited target range. 831. Okay, well that changed it. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. All right, negative eight thirty one, negative one zero four one. Launch, and there it goes. Now it goes up really high. And another thing I want to point out is, okay, is it coming down? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's coming down. It's coming down fast. Goodbye, cactus. Kaboom! So as you can see, it's got about it's about the size of a C4 explosion, um, maybe a little bit smaller, but that's that. Now another cool thing is the anti-ballistic missile. We'll get to that later. Uh, and then this is the explosive fragment missile. Uh, let's launch it at the same place. You have one zero four one and launch it. Um, so a cool thing that I want to point out that's in here is the radar which is especially useful for multiplayer uh, if you right click uh, the white dots represent missiles and where they are relative to your location so you see that yeah all right and kaboom and it throws out all those explosive fragments oh crud oh 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 no no they blew up our testing facility oh well um and then there's of course the lava missile uh which i bet you can guess what it does now uh since you probably basically what it does is it does a bunch of bombs uh we're gonna fire off this anti-ballistic missile though to go and intercept it Oh, okay, there we go. So the anti ballistic missile should uh, blow up with it. Alright, here comes the radio screen. Ah, ah. Okay, so it looks like the two missiles are way over here. Um, but anyway. Oh, wow. A bunch of squids are spawning in me now. Uh, well, I think it's gone now. The missile blew up. Uh, the anti ballistic blew up the other one. So, that is almost all of the missiles, but there is one that we are missing. I'm sure you know what's coming next. Yes, nuclear explosives. Alright, now what we're going to need to do... Hey, there's my flare that I launched a really long time ago. I don't think those things ever go away. For uh, nuclear, for nuclear um, materials, explosives, you want to get as far away as you possibly can. Um, Let's blow up this well. 
for a little while. Um, because nuclear explosives are very, very powerful, as you will see, and you want to be nowhere near when that happens. Alright, it's lit. It's gonna blow. This will lag out your computer, so if you do not have a fast computer, um, it might it might crash your Minecraft if you don't have a very fast computer. Just be cautionable. Oh, wow, that's weird. Oh, it went in the water. Okay, I guess we have to explode it on the top. All right, goodbye, little well. Oh, come on. All right, fine. You know what? We'll blow it up right next to the well. Okay, there we go. Oh crud. Oh crud. Boom. Hey, cool. Been in Montreal. Kablemo. And as you can see, I didn't know there were abandoned mine shafts in these places. Oh, cool look. It's an abandoned mine shaft. We broke into an abandoned. See, this is the power of nuclear missiles, people. Now, where'd my? Oh, there you are. Okay. Whoa. This is this is amazing. See, this is like instant. Instant hockey rink here. You could widen these edges a little bit and you have this huge hockey rink just as long as you don't mind playing on the bedrock. Okay, let's head back to our uh, testing facility. And of course, there is a nuclear missile because what would an um, explosives mod be without nuclear missiles? It would be not a very exciting mod. Um, now, what I'm gonna do. There's a certain desert temple over here that threatens my testing facility with its new uh, fangly dangly technology. We're gonna get its coordinates and we're gonna send it a little hey, hey gift. We'll say that. Oh yeah, straight down. We're gonna send it straight down here. Oh crud. Forgot about that. Huh. Weak. Weak little TNT. I'm gonna get your coordinates. All right. So F3. Uh, we are at um, X equals negative nine forty-nine, and our Z is negative nine oh one. Uh, you don't have to bother to get the Y. All right. Well, let's head back to our testing grounds and let's send this nuclear missile on its way. All right. Well, this is going to be a great send off. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Of course, negative nine forty nine and negative nine oh one. We are ready to launch in T minus ten, T minus nine, eight, seven, one. Launch. <laughs> there it goes. Let's follow it. All right, radar. Oh, we can see it on our radar, of course. It's up there, way up there. Here it comes. This is definitely gonna lag out your computer, I must warn you. Oh, here it comes. Goodbye, Desert Temple. Oh, hey look, it's dead! Ha ha ha! Oh wow, we just completely decimated it. Look, this is this is the size of regular TNT explosive. Okay. Uh, a little bit of lag here, but this is freaking amazing. This is a great mod, guys. I highly, 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 highly recommend you download it, play around with it. It was a lot of fun. If you want to blow up your annoying NPC village neighbors on Minecraft, send them a nuclear missile present. Um, oh, and before you do that, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with those villagers so that they can watch something entertaining before they all die. This is Freeze Middlewog signing out.